Here in the 16th part it says we have Akhtar, Kiran and Rahul and they were riding in a motor car that was moving with a high velocity on an expressway when an insect hit the windshield and got struck on the windscreen. Akhtar and Kiran started pondering over the situation. Kiran suggested that the insect suffered a greater change in momentum as compared to the change in momentum of the motor car. Akhtar said that since the motor car was moving with larger velocity, it exerted a larger force on the insect and as a result, the insect died. Rahul, while putting an entirely new explanation, said that both motor car and insect experience the same force and a change in their momentum. Now we need to suggest them which one is uh, correct out of these three. So I can understand that Kiran's suggestion is not correct at all. Why this is not correct? Because momentum we know is always conserved. And she is saying that a greater change in momentum is observed for both of them. So momentum to observe, uh, it remains conserved. Change of momentum of insect would be equal to change of momentum of motor car. That's what we know according to the law of conservation of uh, momentum. Secondly, if you talk about the Akhtar one, that is not correct as well. Why that is not correct? Because in that situation, he is saying that since the motor car was moving with a larger velocity, it exerted a larger force. That's not true. That's not can be the situation in this case. This is not the situation in this case because obviously, what does he mean that uh, if a motor car would be moving with a larger velocity, it would be exerting larger force. That, that is not interrelated to each other, velocity and force. Now, and uh, Rahul. For Rahul, I would suggest that he was correct. Why he was correct? Because insect and motor car experience same force and change in momentum. However, we can say that the insect dies because of... Un, uh, because... Uh, he was unable to bear the large force and larger change in momentum. There was change in momentum, obviously there was, but uh, for both of them, they were experiencing same force. Right? Because we know force is dependent on mass into acceleration. Or we can say force is equal to mass and it is change in momentum divided by time. This can be there as well. So you can understand that if there would be change in momentum, force would obviously change. Both of the things are directly proportional to each other. So we can say that the Rahul statement is correct according to the uh, according to the experiment they are doing actually or whatever they are observing. 